Last quarter, the preclinical data dropped, and it was incredibly promising. Researchers conducted studies on mice, and the results were nothing short of remarkable. Mice that received Fluocell's printed islets stayed consistently within the non-diabetic glucose range for an impressive 90 days straight. Meanwhile, the control group of diabetic mice without the printed islets needed twice daily insulin shots just to survive. The contrast couldn't be clearer. Fluocell's initial in vivo studies have shown successful results, further validating their approach. Carolina Trikulja, Fluocell's CEO, put it plainly, with a sense of hopeful anticipation. I am very pleased to announce that we continue to make progress in our development of tissue-based therapy for type 1 diabetes. The transition to using stem cells in our implants means that we are taking another step towards our goal of creating a treatment solution that is ready for clinical trials. Our initial studies have shown good compatibility with the Nexocyte platform, and we have high hopes for the insulin secretion studies that we are now initiating.